Alaska Airlines Flight 261 was a flight from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, to Seattle, Washington, following a stopover in San Francisco. On January 31st, the year 2000, the MD-83 aircraft departed with 83 passengers and 5 crew members on board. The flight started out smoothly, where the aircraft ascended to its cruising altitude of 31,000 feet, where nothing would have seemed to miss to the passengers. However, at around 3.49 Pacific Standard Time, the flight crew contacted the airline's maintenance control facilities to discuss a jammed horizontal stabilizer, where the crew considered diverting to LAX. The jammed stabilizer was preventing the proper operation of the aircraft's trim system, which aids in keeping the plane stable during flight. This became a serious problem, as at their present speed and altitude, the flight crew had to pull on their control columns with around 10 pounds of force just to keep the plane level. Nobody was able to figure out the cause of the jam, and the pilots chose to divert to LAX for the safety of all on board. By 409, the crew was eventually able to unjam the stabilizer. However, in doing this, the aircraft ended up in an extreme nose-down position, spiraling towards the ocean in a horrifying dive that threw passengers and crew around the cabin. Something had gone horribly, horribly wrong. The plane went from 31,000 feet to around 24,000 feet in a brief 80 seconds. The pilots wrestled with the controls, where they were only able to pull the aircraft out of the dive by pulling back on their controls with almost 140 pounds of force. Alaska 261 contacted air traffic control, alerting them of the danger and preparing to reorient the plane for a landing at LAX, with the crew only just barely maintaining control of the stricken jet. Unfortunately, this brief respite would not last very long, as starting almost 10 minutes later, there were four noticeable bumps that could be heard, followed by a very loud noise. This was the sound of the aircraft's overstrained jack screw assembly failing, leading to a complete loss of the vertical stabilizer, and the doomed jet pitched over and began another steep dive. Other airliners in the vicinity were able to get a visual on the plane as it fell uncontrollably towards the ocean. Alaska 261 continued its rapid descent, where the pilots even tried flying the plane upside down to maintain control at one point after the aircraft had become inverted. Far beyond hope of recovery, the MD-83 slammed into the Pacific Ocean at high speeds, disintegrating the aircraft on impact and killing all 88 passengers and crew on board. Despite the plane being utterly obliterated by a powerful crash, 85% of the fuselage was recovered as well as the flight data recorder, and most important of all, the tail section, which revealed the improper maintenance of the jack screw assembly had led to the catastrophic failure. On top of that, the resulting investigation revealed that Alaska Airlines had failed to detect excessive wear on the jack screw during previous maintenance inspections. This was due to the airline using non-standard tools, which led to inaccurate measurements the ill-fated passenger jet had essentially been a ticking time bomb, the deaths of the 88 people on board all victims of an airline cutting corners on safety.